Hi, uh, welcome to For Your Information. We have an exciting show today. Uh, we have Jan Raji. Raji. Uh, she's the president of the Berkshire Family History Association and, uh, and, and a lot of stuff that for the public that you can find about your family history and uh, a lot of good information. And she's going to update on the information. And uh, uh, Jan, how many years have you been with the Berkshire Family History? Well, I joined as a member, I can't tell you how many years ago, but um, was a, just a member in the audience for many years. And then um, at some point in time, Don Lutz, our original, yes. he, he was yeah. a legend. He um, needed a vice president, and he talked me into it. And that's how I got into the um, the end of Berkshire Family History. But prior to that, I had been a member and done a lot of research and engaged in a lot of the activities that they uh, offered. What, did, uh, what was the date it started? I, I, I remember John, and I, I may have tried to recruit me. I was working 100 hour weeks in the early 70s. Didn't have any, and uh, he, he told me about it. It was, was yeah, it the it, early in 70s? The in the spring of 1975, okay. a small group of uh, area people interested in, in genealogy research had an organizational meeting and they had about, I guess, 35 people attend. And by fall of that same year, they were up to 120 members. Wow. And so uh, that was the start of it. That was the seed of the whole thing. Um, in 1979, uh, is when it became the Berkshire Family History Association by name. Prior to that, it had been called um, the Northern Berkshire, uh, Northern Berkshire Subgroup, Fort Massachusetts, Genealogist, and uh, so it went through these various iterations until it landed where it is today. And so, you're still with us. And we're still with great, you. Doing yeah. great work. Yes, we hope so. Um, so a little more background, if you're if you're interested, sure. is that. Um, we frequently have to remind ourselves that there is a, this group has a mission. And the mission stated initially at the very beginning was it was to foster the study of family history among both beginners and uh, advanced researchers. So it was to put the focus on family history and encourage people and teach them how to go about researching their family. So that, again, was from the very beginning. Um, and then over time, it went through several presidents and several different ways of operating. And but with Don Lutz having been there for 32 years, most of what it was was his work. He was the one that I always say is a one-man band. He was a one-man band. Um, his own personal home was his Berkshire Family History Association office. He had his home set up to produce the docu the newsletters. Uh, it was just, and he had his own unique way of doing it, but he was right. very, very productive, very yeah. productive. Oh, yeah. And uh, so when he passed, um, being vice president. He was a guest on, he was, on yes. this show and yes. other shows. And I went time. back on your app there, um, PCTV Select. Right. I got the app on my phone and I went back and rewatched the couple of videos that we yeah. had done here then. Yeah. And it was it was nice to see you down. You were on with them. I was yeah, on with them. Yeah, right. yeah. So yeah. um yeah, I enjoyed you know, reviewing that and reminiscing a little bit about those days. Now tell me something. Yes. What uh what is Berkshire Family History Society? That's not us. <laughs> That's uh, not I know. Yeah. I uh, yeah, I by mistake when I'm looking Mm -hmm. up, I, I clicked on that. Mm -hmm. so. I, I don't really know what that group is, but we frequently will get email or uh, queries from people in England, the Berkshires. Oh, There's a, that's there's a right. Berkshire that's in right. England. They think that's us. And so we just have to reply. I'm sorry I got the wrong Berkshires here, but... Um, Do they ever, you ever have conversations back and mm -hmm. forth, especially no. with no. So there might that might be something you might yeah, consider sometime. Could be good, certainly. Yeah, certainly. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah, because oh, um, this technology. Yeah, what starts out as a confusion could result in some kind of cooperation rather than confusion. So that's a good point. Yeah, even in uh, our sister city, Ballinar County, mm -hmm. Mayo, mm -hmm. we've run into people from 
Berkshire England. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah. 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 Very good. So um, back to the little bit of history I want to provide is that when Don passed, there was a lot of work we needed to do to relocate all the Berkshire Family History stuff from his house to somewhere else. Where's that somewhere else going to be? So the Berkshire Athenaeum's local history department was very um, kind and generous and gave us uh, some shel excuse me, shelf space. Um, they allowed us to use some of their um, like computer equipment to do our main databases and membership lists and everything. So we were very grateful for that. So right now I would say that is where we are based. The organization is based in the local history department of the Berkshire Athenaeum. And all of the research we do for our members is done within that room. Um, and another piece of the mission, which I don't feel has been captured as much as it had in the past, was we're one part of the mission was to provide funds for the local history department so that they could buy a, a, to add things to this vast collection they already have. Now, back in the day, they used to have many fundraisers that raised a lot of money, um, but those did not continue. They were too complicated. They were too time intensive. Time consuming. Yeah, yeah and yeah, again, Don had organized all that. So yeah. um, we still do pay some of the bills for the local history department, subscriptions to things, and uh, occasionally the librarians will put in an order. You know, they'll get it approved by us and order it and we'll pay the bill. You know, I can recall uh, the Gormleys going to stuff in Boston, Boston area or uh -huh. that end of Massachusetts, and there'd be genealogy, uh, and uh, they never mentioned the archives, mm -hmm. they mentioned the Berkshire Athenaeum, Berkshire Family History. Yeah, at yeah. these uh, yeah. setups. Yes. Uh, yep. Yeah. Well, they're here longer and have lasted longer. So, right. um, yeah. So a lot of the t when the National Archives branch over on Dan Fox Drive closed, a lot of that stuff came to the library. And right. even more importantly to me is the people who had volunteered that volunteered there came over and volunteer now with Berkshire Family History. Now, the, the video that we were, uh, Margaret, mm -hmm. uh, Margaret Roddy mm -hmm. uh, did with you about a half hour or so, mm -hmm. and we were thinking of doing a, a clip from that, mm -hmm. but I looked at it, I said, that should be shown in the that's whole right. half hour. That's right, and, so, and that's only part one you saw, so. Right, this, right. Right. Yeah, it was very well done, and but that leads me to what led us here. Um, our when COVID hit, and it was that people weren't coming into you know, live product presentations. Right. People were cautious. People were not allowed <laughs> to gather as we had in the past to do presentations. So we got to thinking. You know, we need to find ways to. Um, provide things for not only our members but the general public about genealogy in the library and, and right. all of these things. So our initial attempts at doing that ourselves was not very successful. We, the first one we did, my husband actually had a, his phone and recorded the speaker at the time and it was it, it captured the the information of that speaker, but it was it, nothing you'd want to watch. You know, there was no editing. There was you know things that would normally not have you would have edited. You out. didn't have the training yeah. from Pittsfield exactly, Community Television. Exactly, exactly. You got it. And that's where we're headed. So um, the the second time we tried, and that was Margaret's beautiful video, and that yeah. was part one, and we were very pleased with it. But there were a lot of frustrations attached to that. The volunteer who agreed to do that and got the first part done, we were very pleased with it, had some issues with the second part, which is why it's not there yet. Had to do, I think he was using iMovie or one of these other apps or programs or whatever. Yeah. And it, it was fraught with frustration. So that was the point at which our dear friend Anita, um, our friend and yours, um, we're Wasn't just- Wasn't Anita Norton at the archives too? She was, did, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And she, and her, Previous days, she was at Pittsfield Community Television, right. part of the staff, right. and she's part of our 
uh, crew here she is. doing this program today. Well, she kind of provided the link between Berkshire Family History and this, this studio. Right. Um, and we just, you know, at first it was just chatting, you know, sitting around a table and, oh, we could do this and we could do that. And the more we talked about it, the more the possibility seemed that that would be a good idea. Yeah. So we came over here, got a tour, and um, are looking forward to having some training. And we have a date set for our first presentation. We have a wonderful speaker, um, well known in her field. She's a professional genealogist, and she will be our first. Um, this is Lisa Doherty. Lisa Doherty, yes, oh. yes. Um, and so we're going to record that, I believe, on December 15th. So, uh, you know, it'll be aired and shortly. Is she that. coming right here? She's going to come here, yeah, uh, yeah. So I just communicated with her today and, you know, asked a few questions and cleared a few things and I can share with you people what her responses was but, but she's just I think she'll be perfect because she's knowledgeable she's technologically right. more advanced has she than done anything with public access she has, television well in, uh, she's New been York State? you know she has been recorded many times but yeah. I don't know if they were ever published a public yeah. On any station anywhere. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So, um, and she comes from Gilder. Welcome to the PCTV yes, membership exactly. and volunteers. Exactly. And exactly. So, um, so we're very pleased and very excited about the fact that we might be good at yeah. this. You know, we, uh, oh, I'm sure you will be. And we, from what we've heard from other people, what we were told when we visited, what I'm sure we'll, we'll be in re reinforced when we train is, you know, you're not alone in this. You know, these people are here are wonderful. They're going to help you through this. You're going to learn it. It's not, you know, so it's all positive. Oh, the staff is great. Yeah, yeah. that's what we are yeah. beginning to understand. According to Nita, already knew that, but we're finding out, all of us, that we're going to be comfortable here, I think. That's great. Yeah, so um, it's, it's a, an experiment for us. It's a, a step toward the future. Right. Um, so we're excited about it. Yeah, very good. Welcome. Yeah, yes. well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's how we all started. <laughs> right. uh, and we help other shows. Uh, you know, our, our crew, they're busy in the community and mm -hmm. with other things, but seem to work out that we help other organizations. Uh, like Sarah Adams there is the from the uh, from the Lions Club and okay. she does Lions Dance, yeah. so we help there, yeah. Yeah. and we help on many other uh, okay. shows. Very good. Well, the day we visited here, there was um, something being live. Um, I, I don't know your terminology, or yeah, but that's good. There were two young people, younger women, sitting at the controls out there, and we just watched over their shoulder, and I was comfortable in asking them. I said, you know. Had you done anything like this before you came here to yeah. do what you're doing? And they said, no. I said, well, how was it hard to learn? They go, no. So I felt suddenly like, oh. Was know, this in Studio it, K? No, it was um, It was a show. Uh, it was a health-related show, I believe, with uh, someone with a disability being interviewed or something. I, oh. I don't quite. Oh. But it, it was just. Oh, maybe the Berkshire Health Program. Probably, maybe. Yeah, so right. Like but we just stood there looking over the shoulders of these two yeah, women. Yeah, you learned a lot. Yeah, and I'm well, thinking. Well, we encourage uh, the mm -hmm. same thing. Yeah. But uh, you know, people come in, and we've had people stop by to see what it's all about. Yeah, yeah. That would, that would and the key help. is, you. yes, you can do that. Yeah. Uh, maybe not every last thing, right. like our director, Jeff Turner. <laughs> I always accuse him yeah. that he could do the whole crew, this yeah, four right. crew in there. And the cameras used to be in the studio, mm -hmm. and uh, we had two camera people. Now it's operated inside, so, uh, and since COVID, okay, uh, sure. inside here. And, and it has been during those two years of the mm -hmm. uh, original COVID, uh, mm -hmm. they were in other rooms and all that. Well, COVID did change everything. Yeah. And it, the immediate changes, that COVID created were obvious to us all, the masks, the shutdowns, the everything. Right. But it also opened our eyes to the need for trying to reach people in ways not directly. Um, you know, gathering in a big auditorium, people were still shying away from that, even when we right. got sort of got the okay. Um, 
people are concerned, and I, I don't blame them for that. They're taking care of themselves, and they're. And another piece is that when you look at the Berkshire Family History membership roster, we have only a couple handfuls of local members. The local members, um, I think maybe 23, 24 of them, but we have members from all over the country and even a member from well, Scotland. This is right up your alley exactly here. Exactly. Because so. you can watch all these, mm -hmm. our sister cities, uh, yeah. especially the island, uh, uh, but all of them have watched uh, shows from here, especially who's on there about their sister city. Yeah, that, that's and, exciting to us yeah, too because yeah. reaching these people far away, um, you know, we years back there would be a monthly meeting with a speaker and, you know, every month. Oh, yes, that last we've attended. Yeah, you did. Yeah, Actually, yeah. four of our crew are members of Berkshire Family History. There you go. Yeah, so people would fill the auditorium at the library and, um, and in those days, uh, I remember Don Lutz had an audio tape. He put oh. it in his little tape recorder, and he'd audio record the speaker, and he'd yeah. label those tapes, and you could rent them or buy them or something. Yeah. Uh, so that was before all this fancy stuff. But well, we, that was that was that was even, fancy. Yeah. That was that <laughs> compared to what used to be. That's exactly yeah. right. So we, um, you know, we we just because of COVID mostly, but other reasons, technologies, advancements in themselves have made us feel, and many groups feel like, gotta move on a little bit here. Yeah. You know, you can't just keep doing things the same old way, you right. know, so. But you've come, come a long way doing that. We have, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, yeah, in a very short time. And when we get feeling a wee bit discouraged about, oh, you know, this didn't work so well, or we, we stop and say, we've come a long way. We've yeah. accomplished a lot. Right. You know, look back at our successes and yeah. not the things frustrating us. So, but uh, we have good people uh, that help us. Uh, we have a board of directors that only meets four times a year, but we have a small core of local people who right. gather on Thursdays at the library and plan and brainstorm and and uh, you know keep going, <laughs> and that's been very helpful. Now your last. Uh was with John Dixon, speaker. Yes, yeah. And yes. he's uh, with Osher Lifetime Learning. Yes, he gives yes. The president, he's, yep, yep. he's uh, great. He is writer. great, and he was a great after dinner speaker at our annual meeting. And uh, yeah, so we keep a list, and he actually keeps a list of potential and future people to, you know, have come in and speak on yeah. our new program. By the way, our new program is tentatively called. Berkshire Family History Presents. Very good. Okay, so we can say Berkshire Family History Presents Lisa Doherty, and Berkshire Family Presents whoever the speaker is. So right. we're gonna stick with that, I think. Yeah, very okay. good. Yeah, so, um, and that is what we had been calling our last couple of conferences. We were getting big time into conferences and guest speakers and, yeah. And uh, that's and, and pretty interesting. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know. yeah. We, yeah. We enjoyed doing those, but once again, we found that a lot of, well, uh, the last one I remember was at the Country Club, Pittsburgh Country that's Club. That's what I was just yeah. thinking. And uh, we got excellent speakers. We, we had, you know, a good menu. We had raffles for free. It was a fun time, but it was also a case of, like, locals. The, the locals would come to these. Yeah. You see what I mean? So it's like, yes, for the locals, it was great. But the subject on yeah. that, I remember something about UMass, the library at UMass. Yeah, so that was. Uh, yeah, that yeah. was interesting. Yeah, yeah, I remember who that's. Dave uh, Robeson, maybe. Yeah, be involved in yeah. Uh, yeah. family yeah. history. That's right. So those were good, and you know, the big conferences seem to slowly be coming back, like the big regional conferences and. Um, you know, they're, they're creeping back, but they're big outfits with a lot of help, and um, I don't see Berkshire Family History getting back into these yeah. conferences. It's just doesn't seem worth the time, the energy, or it doesn't bring anything back to. Now, how about your uh, getting back to your 
TV show, P PC TV yes, show. Yes, yes, we're so excited. Do, do you <laughs> have enough crew? Do you? Well, how about from your membership? Yeah, Does well, everyone we have minimal crew. It concerns me. I would like more crew, and everybody I run into, I ask. Um, I think, I think we'll be able to have more. But at this we, point, we may have. Uh, could we show the email and the website for? I'm sure you yeah, have already, sure, in case sure. you want to contact. That would be fine. Yeah, that's good. Um, I put out recently a mass email to all of our members uh, announcing that our newsletter was posted on the website and also added a little plea. <laughs> if you know yeah, everyone, yeah. You know, and I try to talk it up. Um, and if they're not too sure, have them come right, exactly. and observe yep. the, your yep. first program. Yep. If but like not. I said, we don't have that many local members. We have a lot of members right. from far away right. who wouldn't be able to do that. So um, I'm asking friends of friends, do you have a grandson or some, you know. So I, I'm confident that we'll build that crew right. um, and I'll feel better when we do. So we'll see what, what time of day are we? Uh, be, we're, we've, um, that's you mean for point. our program recording? Yeah. Uh, between 11 and 2. That was the time frame okay. we grabbed. That's a good thing for people to know. Yeah, uh, exactly. They, so, And I've got yeah that information. Out if they want to uh, participate. help on it, uh, yeah. sure. Well, the training, too, it's another thing. Someone I spoke to, and I said, it would require some training. And uh, But what we haven't established the training yet, which is next on my to-do list to pack narrow that down when are we coming in for the training and whatever right. and so she said I could get back to her when I now, have that information. Let, let's say now uh, go through the process of someone wanted to start researching their family history mm -hmm. what they would do with Berkshire Family History Association. Well we had been running classes free classes at the library before COVID and those were quite popular and were were thinking of reinstating that or adding that as a topic on our program. But the basic thing, if anyone wants to begin, if I'm talking really begin, is they need to get pedigree chart, paper and pencil pedigree chart, and several family group sheets. That's the beginning of it all. And, and if in time you, you are going to, as most people will, go to a software program, Family Tree Maker, Roots Magic, whatever. It's the same concept. What you do with that pencil and paper to get yourself started keeps you focused, keeps you organized, and easily translates into software if you go that route in the future. So to me, that's the first thing you do. You take a group sheet, and they're readily available online. You can Google free family group sheets, and you'll get 100 places to print them out. What, what's the form that you fill out if you're if with Berkshire Family History? It's okay. online. Yeah, there's a form if you want to request um, research. I think oh, that okay. might be what you're talking yes. about. That's a, a different kind of a form. But which I'm glad you brought that up, though, because our website is slowly but surely becoming more robust. It's going to contain more things that can be done online. Like now people can renew their membership online, they can become a member online. Right. Um, and we do have several forms that they can fill out. Do you want research done? Give us this information. We'll give it to our researchers. You know, do you want to contact us on some other topic or concern or information? Here's a form, fill it out, and we'll direct it to where it can best be answered. So, um, yeah, poking around our website is probably a good place for people to, um, I always call it just Get click, a feel about click it around. I always just say sit there and click around. Now, and, you you're know. in the early days with uh, Pittsfield Community Television, mm -hmm. but they do they do use Zoom. Uh, Trisha Filey Bouvier, the state rep, yes, we yes, helped her yeah, on to yeah, and fro. Yeah. She had guests from Boston many times right. or, or from all over. Yeah, uh, yeah. And it was via Zoom. Yeah, Zoom was something that we considered during the initial yeah, part of Yeah, not right away necessarily, yeah. but you could. Yeah, it would, be, and it's and a lot of people that I'm familiar with have used Zoom. I used it once or twice, um, but yeah, and yeah, we've done hundreds of Zoom meetings out of necessity okay, with everything yeah. we volunteer for. Yeah, uh, and it with our sister cities, it really 
That's has come great. Yeah. Thanks to Clark Nichols yeah. being the host on yeah. Zoom. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we uh, had communication over those years. Uh, That's wonderful. Of, uh, yeah. 2020. Uh, well, we with our, uh, especially the island, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went back and forth on should we give Zoom a try? Should we not? Well, we will if we have to, but not yet. Let's try this first. And we went back and forth in, in terms of how to use Zoom. Were, I, I, I'm a pharmacist, and I've been on national Zoom meetings, uh -huh. and it'd be on. Uh, you'd be with people who do studies on uh, medications or something. Oh. And uh, when things were going slow, I. I, as a joke, I combined my Irish sister city. I said, uh, have you done a study on Guinness being good for COVID symptoms? <laughs> and so I said, could you take up that? But here's the thing. Mo uh, COVID, they acted, they got on that fast. Mm. Some of these studies last for four or more years. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, to so. get on it quickly is important, right, when it yeah, comes to something yeah. like that. So, um, yeah, the, the couple Zooms that I've done in my home for other purposes, um, there's different qualities of how Zoom is done. You know we're down done. to the last 20 seconds. Oh, my. Wow. Wow, this has gone by fast. Yes, yes, <laughs> I'm talking. Thank you very thank, much for Well, being thank you very much for having us, and we're very excited to be part yeah, of good PCTV. Good luck to you. Thank you. Uh, I just want to uh, mention that uh, we're the... Uh, most of the our crew and other are all welcome to join us at the post office on December 17th. Santa Claus comes from the North Pole, and we're with the Salvation Army Kettle, and we're there from 8.30 to 11.30 on a Saturday, uh, December 17th, and everyone's welcome to stop by and join us. We have we even have Jeff Turner singing and and dancing, <laughs> and we Sounds have like um, live, both live and recorded music and photo ops with uh, Santa Claus. So this has been For Your Information. Thank you for listening.